<laughs> yeah, the chat is for sure quite wild. Seven seconds. Let's freaking go. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Ready. Two point three. Fifteen inside. Oh. Bots. Really real German gamer name. Let's hope no stream snipers. No, no, sis. The Antichrist. Okay. I like this combo. This is good, but highly dependable. We go with Rhino Max Metal Mustang. That is a simple yet great combo. Oh, yeah, this is a good start. Uh, yeah, yeah, you recommend me to send the Mustangs out to the flanks, right? Um, or what they got mu more Mustangs would be nice. Or what they got more Mustangs could be nice, potentially. They obviously could change. I really should not have... I should have removed me being live thing, as that <laughs> obviously enables stream snapping. Should have put it in a stream delay, maybe. Uh, next time. Next time. And I guess this 90 second stream delay somewhat helps out. Uh, We'll have Rhino, which is really good against the small guys. We more have to worry about flyers. It's spread out a bit. Extreme maximum. <laughs> right. As I do it. Okay. We will end the prediction here. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Come on, don't don't kill my don't kill my don't kill my don't kill my Okay, good. Good. Victory. Mm. The redeploy could be quite nice for rhinos. Here we go for the redeploy. As we flank a rhinos, that could be really, really nice in the long run. Maybe we should have only spread one. Uh. Seven snipers is a good number for the long run. So we go with that for now. Being able to buy two units in each round is long for, good for a long run as well. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go. More phoenixes? Okay. And the left flank of theirs gets completely shredded now. As our right flank is a bit struggling with the level 2 bugs. Level 2 crawlers. Are we killing that their base first? No. They're killing our tank first. Let this wrap. Come on, let's at least kill this. No. You're struggling. One more shot. One more shot. Okay, at least a kill. And then we need to have this stop, stop, stop. St okay. Then we might potentially still win this. One snipe. No, they immediately take it out. Oh god. Okay, we lose this, but we have the Rhino next turn. Which, if we set it up correctly, will win us the game. And we don't take much damage. And we have more hit points. Anyways. 
I love Giant Hunter in the long run. Um, take another cut of Mustangs. And we take another Rhino. We will have start. On the flank. To be far enough away. And then we take a page of our enemy's book. Set this up here. And then we actually redeploy this. Do this flank as well. Oh. Enemy has redeployed as well, which is weird because they have redeployed super cheap on the Phoenixes. The other way around would be better. Yeah, I should have expected that. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that missile strike of theirs is good. Okay. First round of the tournament. Not going fantastic. We don't want to use too many skills. Let's, I guess they will go for the skill thing. Let's let the rhino eat thing over there. Uh, so our enemy really wants to win this way. And we just go for for marksman, no for damage on these guys, I believe. Okay. Yeah, okay. Another 50 points of theirs. We activate the other 50 points on this side. Okay. They deal a lot of damage again this turn then. They deal a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, that's uh, still our guys. They killed our left side pretty hard. Yeah, them phoenixes are gnarly. Uh, they take the. They didn't take the extra health. They didn't. take last turn. I'm not quite sure. They might not have taken anything last turn. Um, we wanted to take this rhino away into a safer spot. We want to give our rhinos some health regen. Three rhinos. Another Mustang. Help out on the flank. And then we have already everything we need. Marksman uh, shooting squad could actually be pretty nice with seven. Actually quite a lot of extra soldiers. And then also can annoy the Phoenixes. Actually, let's, let's go for that. Okay, that's a, an annoying unit, but not a terrible one. They are still level 1 here, so they're just gonna lose that. But we need to deal with their shield before we destroy their tower, which will take a while. 
They went into overdrive mode. They actually want to kill us this turn, but that's going to backfire. Especially as we will destroy this shield, no? No? Come on. Guys. I believe in you. Ah, uh, but we have Giant Hunter. So yeah, our long-term plan now starts to come into effect. We don't go on skills. They don't have much good air outside of their... Like, obviously they have Mustangs, but... Big boys can't potentially beat that. And we have this time a lot of upgrades. We redeploy within the same side zone. I'm not sure what happens. Okay, just wanna. No, we just actually we just go to the other side. Um, we haven't used any new units. Do we new need anything new against this yet? No. Don't believe our setup is bad. Let me go for a sniper as well. And then we go for more healing. You go front, and the snipers go rear. Yeah, that is fantastic. Exactly what I hoped. Well, even better than I hoped. I hoped they would set up a 50 point thing, which then would have still be their next turn. But this way, they set up an ability that sets them back a full ability without us be even being there. And now we destroy them. They are completely screwed. I don't understand the fer fortress. I believe a Vulcan would have been better. Okay, we will need bubbles. As our enemy will set up flames. Rhinos with more hit points are great. No, this time we don't set it away. Set it away. Um, how much is the air crit? Five hundred. How much is any of the six hundred? That is a pretty important upgrade here right now. Range might be more important for now though. No, we we set this. And then we send one more Mustang onto the battlefield. Which will come in... Over here? Over here. Okay, they have actually double missile, but doesn't that fire on the same spot? I'm not exactly sure. Oh. Yeah, okay, but we saved this with the bubble. This might actually go through before it gets completely destroyed. Okay, my enemy wants to win hard. Which they might be able to do. Our sniper still wins the flank. This is so important. And yeah, the flame thing doesn't kill everything. The nuke is fantastic for the enemy. No, it's not! Our rhino got through! We got him. First victory on its way. Ah! Got you guys. Got your back. I got your back. Return to lobby. <laughs> GG. Nice. And we will play against the winner of this. Oh my! Oh my! This is quite the battle.
Nice. And it's Amber. And over there. Oh my! Woo! That nuke came in hot. Okay, that will win Vipa Sin this round. But I don't see how Vipa Sin wins next round without a nuke. Vipa Sin needs more melting pots, I guess. Yeah, as this will not be enough to finish this. I love the spectator mode already. The spectator mode is already a solid one. Oh my god. Why is this game so good? See abilities that each side has. You ha see what their roster is. See their money. This guy just doesn't have anything left. And this guy now sends three abilities in. Uh, one is the Rhino ability, which is not too massive, I guess. And I mean, they already. Oh no! Oh, they. Okay, they sent in a nuke as well. So I believe this is going to be the end. It's just too clumped up. And the melting pots don't. Not gonna do stuff. Just crawlers, storm crawlers, and then big ships, big mama ships. Three different big boys is a big of a bit of an overkill, no? Doesn't even have. Why do you? That's like six hundred points. Why? I, I like I thought that they at least had giant, but they don't. Yeah, never go into three. Di like the only point where you can go for that is if you have giant. The giant spec thing. Oh no, and the nuke is coming. And it won't stop coming. It even uh, It killed their own rhino here though. The melting pot actually survived, but it brought the tower down and yeah, it's still four overlords. Okay. These guys are still at it. Oh, another a fellow Twitch streamer? Lol. That would be funny. <laughs> it's really risky to stream this on Twitch while playing in a tournament. Lol. These guys still have a lot of points. But Shaboing is going to die here now. With the new coming in. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is still a lot of stuff. Okay. Next round in 2 minutes 45 seconds. Okay. That is going to be good. Hyped. Hyped. Okay, it's actually against the guy from the other side. No code this. We just saw beating the other streamer. Will he have a 2 to 0 streamer rate or will we get him? I love the Mustang Crawler Aerial. Steelable Elite is solid as well. Obviously, supply is simple. But I love the S uh, Mustang Crawler Aerial. I like that idea. Let's see what. Okay, the enemy. No, the enemy has tanks, tanks, and marksmen. So the best aerial unit to go for here should. But, like, crawlers are good for the beginning here. Just need to crawl up the place. They might go early Rhino though. I hope they're not stream sniping. Hope they're honorable. And no. Make Corp. No, no, no. 
there is a l level where Mustangs just are too flimsy. Like, obviously, you need something against Mustangs, but Mustangs aren't an uh, insta hard counter. Like, obviously, they're strong against air if they hit it, but the thing is, they die to anything that hits them. Like, and like the big ships, they don't do much against the big ships. And uh, they are super amazing, like, insanely crazy against wasps. And against the Phoenixes, it's about how much range do you give the Phoenixes and how well do you protect your Phoenixes with other stuff around. Like, if the Mustangs never get close enough to the Phoenixes because the Phoenixes have the range and the marksman upgrade, then the Mustangs never get there. Obviously, aerial plus range upgrade and so on, but that's the super heavy against uh, Bastions. Uh, we unlock the, the, the Phoenix now. We unlock the Phoenix now. Where are we going? Okay, they went for more tanks, which I believe is the best units of theirs for now. But we should be pretty good against anything they come up with. Or not. Thought we would do better with our crawlers. Okay. This can be nice in the long run. Mm -hmm. Guess we will have to give our... If we go Phoenixes for now. Let's unlock this already. Oh. Okay. What do they give it to? The Fangs. That is super bad on fangs. Like, that saves you 50 points per level up on the fangs. So, like, you have to level up the fangs two levels for it to save you 50. Okay. Okay. Like, it's so much better on the siege sledge uh, hammers because it saves you f 100 for level up there. And now we start to destroy the sledge hammers. Oh, well. Does it murder their own unit? No. Okay. The rocket is selective. I n never knew that. This was always why. I don't use those often, to be honest. I'm most likely is that's one of the abilities I'm still really bad at using. Those one-time abilities, I stay away from them quite a bit. Okay, we're winning this one now. We will have to give our crawlers something that they don't die those qu that quickly. Our crawlers die too quickly at the moment. But the phoenixes are good. Like, the triple combo is nice. Mm. This could be crazy good with us. Okay, we still won. We don't need to do anything new. Yeah, for example, now on the sledgehammers, that update would already have paid off. 50. On the fangs, it still hasn't paid off. Okay, we double crawler them now from the rear. That is going to win us the round. For certain. Especially as we start to snipe the snipers. Our phoenixes level up. Yes, our phoenixes level up. Both phoenixes will level up. Perfection. 
Uh, we will have to set something up that counters Vulcan soon. We need something with more hit points, otherwise everything in our combo will be burned away by Vulcans. All three of this is something we want. How many do we have leveling up? Four leveling up, that saves us 200 this round alone. Okay. Let's go with this. Mm. Well, let's have a second wave of crawlers. I like that usually. Okay. They have siege tanks on each flank now. Or sedgehammers. We will have to get the crawlers slide towards the enemy upgrade. Uses damage taken, but our Phoenix call on the right side was the right call. Expecting something like Sedgehammers there. Nice, now our second line of crawlers does connect. Come on, Phoenixes, get your freaking shot out. Sniper down. Sniper, I repeat, sniper down. You got your level up. You didn't get your level up yet. Yeah, you're still power of it, but that's fine. If you could get the kill there, no, you don't get the kill. Okay, people are shooting the barrier. We kill the barrier. Fantastic. That's another 100 point down the drain for them. That barrier really didn't do anything. This is looking good. We take the barrier, and we now need something bigger. Bigger, the better, the bigger, the better, the better, the bigger. Ah, we have cr we go for crown though. How about the hour crawlers upgrading again? Do we go into to big boy air now? That's still one turn too early. I believe that's still one turn too early. We want the crawler. Light upgrade now. Well, it's more phoenixes, or more better. And then we go for more hit points on our units. Yeah, that is what I feared. But that is what we get our big ships for soon. This is what I fear. When I dream at night. Okay. Oh, but they activated that they can recruit one more because they don't they they still only have one ability. Oh wow. Yeah, they wipe out one crawler. They have set a good couple of these rockets by now. Like they set themselves back. Their economy game is so much worse than ours. But our Phoenixes get screwed over. If you still win this, that would be insane right now. This is not supposed to be our turn. But we might at least... Let's at least kill the Vulcan. That would be fantastic. Please don't get sniped yet. Shit, we need one more shot. That's not gonna happen. That is a problem. Yeah, we're not gonna kill that Sandhammer either. Mm, we might kill the kill on the Sniper. Before they kill our building. And then we... we yes! Then we might actually kill the volcano as uh, the Vulcan still. Yes. Small guys annoying. Okay, but we still kill a couple more. Before they kill all our stuff. Okay, these still are still all really high. These these shields re regenerate? No idea. I don't believe so. 
get a kill? No, okay. Down the shield. And upgrade is for free. Okay, we could go quadruple overlord now. I believe that's the upgrade to go for right now. Yeah, the unit to go for here now. I believe that setup is actually not half bad. I can't put shields on overlords, that was a bit of a waste for now. Get did solid damage. Now crawlers did good 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 stuff there as well. Our overlords did do fantastic damage from the rear. And we absolutely shred our opponent now. And we don't need that much. Yeah, this guy is done for. Two victories. Two victories. A real CP a commander played like a charm. GG. A real commander played like a freaking sham. Yeah. No more combat power. Okay. Next round. Uh, who was the other? Who's the other one that is 2 0 now? Lando. 3,600? Without losses, most likely, then? Damn. Palatineo got, ro Neon got roasted there. Okay. Can we win our first tournament, everybody? Can we win our first tournament? And will we get anything if we win our first tournament? I have no freaking idea. Is there like a symbol that you are like an absolute champ and that you're the best player in the universe or something like that? I have no idea. We're gonna figure it out. Let's see. Can we get the title, guys? Can we become a mini tournament champion? A Mecha Bello mini tournament champion. It's all down to this, guys. I need your... Uh, Mental, like, like, yeah, pray for me to whatever deity or non-deity you believe in. Mm. And then we freaking go, this doesn't sound great. That's not quite what I want. Giant SPC plus Fang plus Stormcaller sounds interesting. This is just too, too many single targets. This is all not great. We go with the giant SPC. Yes, PC. Hmm. Decent. Couldn't I say see myself here with a rhino? But actually, for the first round, we go with my standard of just more of our one hundred point unit. Or actually, no. What we need to beat the small guys could be arc lights. Rhinos are not good against phoenixes because then they will be focused on the front line. So actually, we go with arc lights. Fangs are slow. So they will march to death. Yeah, let's go. Them crawlers are coming for us. Arc Shites are a good investment. They got more of their small crawlers. Kill them crawlers. Question is, will there be any fangs left when we dealt with all the crawlers? I fear that might not be the case, but it is the case. Guys, shoot down. Need 
Nice. We win the first round. Or not? Oh my god. Thanks deals so little A, A damage. Mustangs could have been decent as well, but Mustang unlock costs you 50, and then we couldn't have afforded any any of those in the first round anyways. And Archlights have a potential anti-air upgrade as well. Okay, we actually might lose this. Or if we win, we will win with super few points. But it, no matter what, this first round is to totally fine. Because he has only one unit. They have only one unit remaining as well. No matter what happens, it might only be it will only be 100 damage at the worst. At the best, we deal like <laughs> 50 damage. With our three little small soldiers here being the only thing that still can shoot up in the air. As the enemy is starting to focus down everything else. Ah, I hate this low speed of things. That thing has minimal damage. Okay, are we gonna lose this? Okay. We want Mustangs in the mid run, I guess. Mm. Defensive missiles in that are strong in the late game could be cool against crawlers. This could be nice right now. Okay. We have an arc light level up. Build more fangs and the center line arc light. Okay. And yeah, Mustangs, as I said, could be a nice addition to all of this for the anti air. Well, we believe a more complex anti air could be even better. Mm -hmm. We go with more heal for now, hit points for now. Okay, they go for storm callers as well. Interesting. We killed some crawlers, we killed the base. They. Did they go, what did they go for? Nothing. Oh, they had the extra starting point. Thing. Okay, and then invested it this round. They didn't invest it fully last round, so that's why they have two storm callers now, which is pretty strong against fangs. Storm callers, that us. They are pretty good against fangs. Okay. Actually, might force us air. Like we might want to go air here with wasps as a counter to this. Because Mustangs are not great against Stormcallers either. Something that is tanky is nice against Storm can be nice against Stormcallers as well. Yes, I'm giant this round. So we could potentially go with something giant. You're true. That's true too. We could just go Mother um, Overlord to get go. Like, what kind of... Oh. Oh. A Vulcan against all the crawlers? Oh. Like, this would be the safest call right now. We'll deal with the crawlers. We'll deal with the... Okay, we go with the... Mothership for now. With the, with the Overlord. We get one more arc light. Mothership this. And we upgrade the arc light. Oh! <laughs> okay, Any enemy is aerial? No, enemy paid 200 for that. Okay. Oh! They, they, they already have... Okay. Okay. I see what you did there, guy. But, okay, that... 
throws them back heavy next turn. And we're not gonna lose that hard on the ground, I believe. As we start to hit their mothership, their mothership is going to die to ours. But we're gonna... Our mothership is going to die to their air stuff. Yeah, their air stuff is going to stay obnoxious for a while. But, like, they don't get any extra money or anything. And it's only their... Okay, yeah, they're gonna deal a bit of damage. He has a pretty low hit point. Guy as well. Ah, this is... This is... But this is too good. This is better than that. They can't afford another one this time. Increase the power of our Stormcaller. And we kind of want to have a sniper-like unit as well, which just could be a sniper. But snipers are actually not good against Stormcallers. Are we just going with more tanks? Can't just go with this upgrade. No, oh, everything of ours. Oh, we actually want... Heart lights with more damage, with more range, actually are not that bad against Stormcallers either, I believe. We go with another arc light. Our oh, enemy... Hate 100 to, in the long run to win that last round. Our Overlord for now is better leveled than their stuff. Yeah, we will need the mothership creation ability to stop their phoenixes from instantly going to our, onto our mothership. We need some small guys to go around. Maybe we even buy wasps ourselves. Okay, we eliminate their real line quite nicely, but we take a good amount of damage this turn. As they focus down our motherships quite, uh, our overlords quite quickly. Yeah, that overload ability is, is insanely important now. Um, this can be nice. Second wave of fangs. And a mothership that can react to flanks. Let's we take out... How many hit points do we have? Okay, yeah, we can kill you with this. Fuck. Can we still move this? No. Okay. Okay. Interesting. What abilities do their okay. the photon emission is a super strong one actually. Okay, we killed a couple of crawlers. Take out a storm caller it otherwise would ruin our day on the right side. Create small boys that take away Phoenix shots. I have something run down their enemy phoenixes for now. Still having stall callers alive. Killing the enemy phoenixes. Yeah, that simple rocket ability won us the game by killing the storm callers for sure. Yeah, that shield is not holding for long here right now. Shields in the late game only good to stop abilities in my eyes. Like the damage they tank is really mediocre. Unless you have an ability that makes them stronger. Okay, we make our opponent bleed. In 1000 damage clean. Okay. Um, I don't see how we cannot use an orbital bombardment here. They most likely will use it as well. A lot of upgrades to go for.
And Wasp still might be a unit to go for. Or for f Overlord. Uh, Overlords are not the upgrade on the Overlord. And then one more Fang that slowly marches forward into baiting their rocket guys. Um, they have crawlers, not fangs. Yeah, they have not that many air tar uh, uh, units that can target air. They don't have the AA ability here. Uh, the AOE ability. Yeah, we take wasps, actually. One wasp swarm here. One wasp swarm here. Actually. One wasp swarm here. Oh, their mothership is going for it as well. Okay, they shoot into our mothership. Whatever. Our rocket ability, okay, finally hit something. That was a bit late. They have the creation ability as well, and this might be it. Wow. We're just dying so hard here right now. Yeah, GG. We're losing this. Yeah, this wasn't... I am not good with Stormcallers. I just can't play them. Okay. Getting to third place. I, sh I, I just don't know how to use Stormcallers effectively. Efficiently. The Stormcallers of our enemy were so much better than ours.